girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I want to tell you guys a little story that happened about a year ago on my birthday, and um, it's basically my experience with this dating app that I've been using, so I can like, you know, explore, you know, my horizons when it comes to, you know, dating someone, because, you know, back when the pandemic started and when I first turned 18 last year, I wanted to, you know try and get myself a girlfriend at least. If it's not in like in person, I at least want to try and, you know, do like a, like a chat, like, you know, from, you know, dating websites. And I've only used like at least one dating app during that year. So after a while, it didn't go as planned as I thought it would, but nevertheless, that app was really good. It's called Tammy, T-A-I-M-I. -I. It's, it's about um, a dating app for LGBTQ plus people, whoever, whoever wanted to use the app, if you're, if you're gay and wanna find a boyfriend, or if you're a lesbian, if you wanted to find a girlfriend, and if you're trans, bisexual, so on and so forth, if you wanna find a date, whoever you want to, you know, have a long-term relationship with, short term or even just chit chat, you know, be friends. But in my case, I wanted a long term relationship because I want to see how that will turn out. And um, at first when I was using the app, there was a couple girls who just, you know, just asked how I was doing and stuff like that. And it didn't really last. It was just like a friendly conversation. And um, those those girls didn't like wanted like a long term relationship. They just chit chatted and with me, and I and I was really nice to them. I just said hi, I'm doing good, and all that good stuff. Until I uh, talked to this one girl, and um, we actually got along pretty well for a little while at least. Um, she was really sweet and kind and. There have been some issues with her and uh, well, she was still hanging out with her ex. That was kind of a big problem later on in, in this story and I'll tell you guys in a minute. This time, we only lasted about a week and we, we were talking on Tammy app after a while, we transferred our conversations towards Instagram, swapped each other's Instagram, and started chit-chatting on Instagram. And then after a while, my cat Lizzie went missing. This was a year ago, you know, when my cat was still an indoor cat, not an outside cat. She's in and out every now and then now. So at that time, Lizzie went missing and I got so worried I was so worried about her and stuff like that. I didn't talk I didn't talk at all to that one girl on Instagram for at least a couple of days. And by the time I got back um to talking to her, she accused me of ignoring her. So, and I tried telling her my story, how my cat was missing, and I was being completely honest with her. I was telling her the truth and she didn't believe me. She thinks I was lying and stuff like that. And what the heck? I was being plain out honest with her. And she started just throwing me a barrage of texts and started being mean to me. It's like her, it's like I know, um, her personality just changed. She started showing her true colors. At first she was nice and now she's just mean. She just wanted me to talk to her almost 24 seven. Like, that's not how it works. Yeah, we can, we can talk, but not like every day. We all have our own lives to deal with. And if something terrible pops up, then we're probably not gonna talk for at least a little while. But she took that real personally and still accused me of, accused me of lying to her. And she went silent after a while, and then she and then someone else started picking up those messages. And guess who it was? Her ex 
start picking up those messages. <sighs> Seriously, and the worst part is that she sent me voice clips of her like yelling at me. That one girl's ex started yelling at me. Started saying that I'm like, you know, crazy. I could beat you up and stuff like that. Something along those lines. This story was a year ago, so I don't know. I don't remember everything word for word, but I do remember most of things. And after all that of her ex sending me those voice clips on Instagram and talking to me like that, I blocked her ass. I, I blocked her ass on Instagram, so I don't want to deal with that drama. And I had a little good cry, you know, for at least a few minutes. Started crying for a few minutes. Because I felt betrayed. I felt betrayed. Like, no one deserves to go through that. If another girl is hanging out with her ex and then starts talking to another girl, maybe it she wanted a short-term relationship or something. I don't know how it went, but I blocked her. Never talked to her ever again. And I'm not going to say her name in this video because I respect her privacy. <sighs> and then a few months later, which was this year, well, actually this year, um, I think a couple months ago, I went back on that Tammy app because I recently deleted it and I wanted to see what's going on on that Tammy app and stuff like that since, you know, things have changed after I've been, well, bombarded with that one girl I talked to a year ago. So a couple months ago, I went back on that Tammy app, um, re-downloaded it and stuff like that to see what's going on, and I just talked to another girl who I won't mention. She was a lot sweeter and a lot nicer and this time we only lasted three weeks instead of one week because that other girl, we lasted one week. But this time, this new girl, we lasted three weeks. A lot longer than I expected but not as long as I thought. She was really nice and sweet and really understanding this time. She understood that I have my own boundaries and if something happens, I won't like text her every single day, you know, cause, cause that one girl just, just wanted all the attention and I couldn't provide that to her because I have my own life and personal issues to deal with. And if she didn't believe that I was telling the truth then that, that's fine. It's her fault. It's her fault for not believing me. But this new girl, she's, she was really nice. But there was one other issue. It was a bit, I don't know if that was worse than what the previous girl did. But this one, this girl, she asked me, it, how much money do I have and stuff like that. What? The, she asked me about my money and how much money I have and if I have the cash app and I don't have the cash app, but apparently she does. It's because she's broke and she's trying to pay off her phone bill and stuff like that. And like, what? Like, a lesson to you guys who are trying to find a date, especially if you're on a dating app of all sorts, never and I mean ever ask for a person's money. And that's what that girl did. And I was really respectful towards her and saying that I can't tell her, tell you that personal information because, well, you're not supposed to ask for someone's money. And that's, that's the point. And she was really respectful towards that. But we still talked for a while and stuff like that, but I still couldn't get that out of my head about her asking me for money. That just didn't sit right with me. And I told her about it and that kind of upset me just a little bit. I wasn't mad at her or anything because she said that I was mad at her and that 
She didn't want to talk to me or text me or anything like that. So I didn't want her to like stop texting me and stuff like that. But after a lot of thinking, I've decided, you know what? This relationship isn't going to work out. So I told her that maybe it's for the best that our relationship isn't going to work out. And I hope everything goes better in your life. And um, I ended the message there and I deleted her messaging messages and everything like that. And I blocked her too on that Tammy app because at first we started um, talking on the Tammy app for a week and then we moved to messages on our phones. So as you can see, both of those relationships with both of those girls never lasted. And um, after all that's happened a year ago and recently, I hope those two girls are doing okay. Even if they didn't treat me as well as I thought they would, I'm just hoping things go better with them and I hope they, uh, they're okay with their lives and where they're at and stuff like that. And as for me on that dating app, Tammy, I uh, decided to take a break from it. I deleted it again after I deleted that message from the one that one girl I was talking to and stuff like that, you know? It's crazy. I, I was treated like crap. And I had to step up and be the responsible one and end both of the relationships. It still hurts. But eventually, I hope I'll find someone better. Even if it's in real life, or in a dating app, I hope I'll find someone better who tr who will treat me better. And I'm hoping I'm going to treat her better too. Because that's what I've been doing with both of those girls. I've been really nice to them. I've been upfront and honest to both of those girls I mentioned. And um, I'll continue to be upfront, kind, and honest, and caring, and respectful, and um, understanding. I meet a girl in real life or not I don't know how it will turn out I don't know how my relationships in the future will turn out because I'm not a fortune teller and if any of you guys ever experience any relationship difficulties like I have before let me know in the comments down below so that was my story about my relationships in the past so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, be careful if you plan on using any dating apps yourself and watch out for any red flags like me. I need to watch out for any red flags if I plan on using any more dating apps, even if it's just that one app that I've used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.